this is the, just the dumbest part of the debate. We were encouraged to be provocative. So, I mean, the, I, I this whole mean jobs, me this whole question. jobs are, thing is just the stupidest thing I've ever encountered in politics. I mean, I have friends who are smart who write about this who say, well, you can't prove that green jobs, that there are more green jobs and jobs lost from efficiency. I'm like, well, what are you going to do, just stand still? Are we not going to become a more efficient society? Are we not going to use sun and wind effectively? It's just, it's moronic, right? And not only that, but we're subsidizing incumbent industry, right? We're subsidizing fossil fuels, we're subsidizing industries. This whole thing is a total red herring for people who just want to bitch about the fact that the world's changing and the economy's changing. I just don't see any reason why we should even engage in the debate. And we made a big mistake. We made a really big mistake as a community in trying to win the argument around Kerry Lieberman Graham and some federal policy and some state policies by talking about jobs. It's just a given. It's, it, we, we have to make our economy more resource efficient. If we don't, it's not just energy security, it's the, the, the price of energy. I mean, we have to figure out how to do that. And I look at solar as a perfect example. The debate around Solyndra is without a doubt even stupider than what I said was just the stupidest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> because the truth is that collapsing prices in the solar industry are amazing for the solar industry. It just depends on what part of the solar industry you're in, right? So they're amazing for longevity, amazing for roofing jobs, you know, amazing for putting coal plants out of business, right? It's amazing for a lot of parts of the industry. And yes, they're gonna be able to US manufacturers that go bankrupt but there'll be a next generation of solar in this country that's third or fourth generation, and then it'll go to China, and then there'll be a new generation. So I just think we have to embrace, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying we have to embrace creative destruction as kind of like, you know, uh, this kind of philosophical thing, but like, we either move forward or we stand still. And when we move forward, we're gonna win some or we're gonna lose some. So, look at that, there we go. Red herring. That's, that, that's a hard one to follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I've made a Zet speechless, which is quite difficult. There, there is one thing I said. I, I concur. <laughs> Good man.